Why are clean hands important? Because humans are the most effective incubators of bacteria outside of imported meat. A fact first discovered 150 years ago in Soho, when its filthy reputation was based not on pole dancers from Lapland or lap dancers from Poland, Poland, but because of an outbreak of cholera. Imagine going into a newsagent and ordering not a can of Coca-Cola, but a can of Coca-Cola. That's effectively what the Soho residents were doing in 1854 when they came to draw water from this pump to sate, slake or quench their thirst. That was before the physician John Snow discovered that the disease was spread through contaminated water. And this paved the way for the invention of antibiotics, a remedy against bacteria that initially seemed infallible. I said initially slightly louder because Whilst antibiotics once stopped bacteria like these from breeding like randy Catholic rabbits, their prophylactic power has become dulled through overuse. Many liken antibiotics to giving a box of chocolates to an angry spouse. The first time the chocolates will overwhelm the wife and quell her ire completely. The sixth, seventh time, the chocolates still subdue the miffed woman, but less than they had earlier. And by the twentieth time, the chocolates have little to no potency and can even inflame the problem further. I was troubled by this. I knew more than ever before that we needed to wash our hands. But what were we doing? To find out for myself, I've come to the gents' toilets at the BBC to conduct a study of my own. Hello, Alan Partridge, BBC. Uh, did you wash your hands? Yep. Good man. I've concentrated exclusively on the gents' loos. Uh, a man standing outside a women's lavatory can be seen as predatory. Equally, a man loitering outside a gentleman's toilet uh, can be fraught with ambiguity. So, uh, to put it on a more formal footing, I've got this woman with a clipboard. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Thera. Sarah. Thera. Sarah. Thera. OK. The BBC employs some 20,000 people. Just write that down. And not all of them are going to wash their hands. Right, it is Thera. I thought, I thought you had a lisp. <laughs> no, it's Arabic. OK. Menial workers, for example, are employed to pick up bits of dirt, and the likelihood of them ever being asked to shake hands with senior management are very low. Put him down as a no. Still, the results made for grim reading, with just 28% saying they washed their hands. Yeah, I'm going to wash my own hands later. <coughs> Swindon. And I've come to the British School of Hygiene to ask Professor Jean Chowdhury how clean hands can stop the spread of germs. Hi, Jean. Hi. Hi. Jean, hand washing. How often should we be washing them? Well, any time we come into contact with bacteria. So, um, after going to the toilet. Agreed. Uh, after handling raw meat. Right, and that's separate, isn't it? That's not a euphemism for the first one. No. Uh, raw meat can harbour some pretty nasty bacteria. So, if in doubt, wash. And the advice from the World Health Organization is that we should be washing our hands for a full 20 seconds. 15's fine. Which is why there's actually an instructional video which shows exactly how to wash your hands. Please, please. So we begin by rubbing the palms together, work up a nice creamy lather. Those are very creamy hands. And then you rub the back of your left hand with the right palm with interlaced fingers. Yeah. And same with the other hand. Yeah. And rinse with warm water. Yeah. Um, that's, those taps are the same as the ones over there. Oh, yeah, we shot it here. Well, so those are uh, your hands. Mm -hmm. 